to another episode and welcome to Blacksmith Beachside Holiday Park. So we're staying here for two nights and I'm on an ensuite site this time, site 93. All the ensuite sites come with a half slab and grass setup. Some are facing the road and some are facing to the side. I've got the side facing ensuite and I reckon I much prefer that as it gives you more room for your motorhome or caravan as the forward facing ensuite blocks I think um, shorten the area that you can sort of back into. The ensuites are clean and modern. They come with a vanity, toilet and shower. I picked my site 93 because Opposite the site there is a car park area so that gives you more flexibility and room to back into this site where the other ones you've only got the width of the road to back in. So highly recommend choosing this site if you're going to stay here and you want an ensuite site especially if you're towing a caravan. If you don't want an ensuite site, sites 37 and 38 are my pick. They are a new double slab site. They are central in the park so they are located in between the camp kitchen and a manual block the pool and all of that they're also close to the beach access gate so if you don't want an ensuite site they are my top pick here highly recommend choosing those so there is one camp kitchen and amenity block these are located at the back of the park they are also building a new amenity block which is central to the park it will include a dog wash and it will be super modern if you're wanting to book something a little bit quieter this area here seems to be the quieter area if you're going to stay in this area my top pick is site 140 it is a double slab with a driveway and it also has a big grassed area where they parked a boat and a a Prado in there so there's lots of room for that 141 next door is also a great site and same configuration but you don't have that extra grassed area to also site 148 is a fresh double slab with a driveway it doesn't show that on the park map but it is a really nice site right at the end of the street. Site 155 has a single slab, but it is a huge site. So if you're after some space, 155 is a really good option. It also runs alongside the barbecue area. So there's loads of space there if you're looking for that. So in this area, the right side is majority single slabbed and the left side is grass only. Right down the end of the street in this area is a toilet block but there's no showers. If you're after an unpowered site, sites 51 and 52 are my pick. The other ones run alongside a swale and they're quite small. You'll only fit a small car or tent on those sites. If you're after cabins, there's loads of cabin options here. They look really modern, so you should be happy with anything that you choose. In terms of the park facilities, there is a swimming pool and spa attached to that. There is kids play area, there's some gym equipment, a ping pong table. There's also a tennis court and barbecue areas scattered throughout the park. The caravan park is a short walk to the beach and there's also a cool little spot called the Granny's Pool. So if you're not into waves and want to dip in the ocean, head out of the gate, chuck a right and follow that along and there's signage down there. Both the beach and the Granny's Pool is not dog friendly though. The caravan park is a short walk to a few shops in Blacksmith and the pub, the Arana Hotel. We went there last night and took Ruby with us. So it was her first experience at a pub and she did amazing. She definitely attracted a lot of attention and she was a super good girl, so super proud of her. The feed there was awesome and the pub was beautiful. You walk out into the beer garden, it's like you're stepping into Greece. It was um, an amazing spot and highly recommend when you're staying here, go and check out the Arana Hotel. So I thoroughly enjoyed my stay here at Blacksmiths and I highly recommend coming and staying here if you're in the Lake Macquarie area. Stay tuned for the next episode where I head to Lake Lembourne in country New South Wales.